Yes, of course, it was a big challenge. It was really a big challenge to everybody, including myself. Because we have, uh, even myself, I suppose to have voted for myself. I have two wonderful opportunities. I was in the assembly, uh, State House of Assembly. That was one delegate I would have used. I'm, as a sitting member of the House of Reps, I have the opportunity to have voted myself. You understand? And a lot of us like that. And even the executive of the party whom we constituted some time ago. And uh, there are people that we have been relating very wonderfully well. They would have been part of the people that would have voted for us. But because of the Electoral Act, incidentally, they were not part of the process. Even the governor could not vote for us. The deputy governor from our constituency could not vote for us. Even the president could not vote for somebody from his constituency. So it was just an error. But the error has been rectified by the grace of God. Uh, you know, you know, I'm a Muslim, mm. but my my take on this issue generally that getting somebody who is capable to do the job for Nigerians to represent this country from north to south, somebody who is capable, somebody who is competent, who can deliver dividends of democracy to our people should be the major thing and not religion. We've had Christians that have failed. We've had Muslims that have failed in discharging their responsibilities to the masses. So my own, if I'm allowed, I'll say whoever is competent, whoever has capacity, should be made the vice president. I have absolute confidence in the, in the presidential candidate because of his, you know, because of his, uh, you know, his, uh, his outstanding performances in the past. So getting somebody again who is capable, he could be a Christian, he could be a Muslim, he could be even a, a no religious person, but let him have the capacity and the wherewithal to deliver on the mandate of APC. That's my own take. My heart is hardly helpless For myself so you know, governance is about performance. We have had Tinubu as governor of Lagos State, and there was transformation of Lagos State to today. And everybody is aware. In fact, that is what brought Tinubu to limelight. We had uh, Tinubu for eight years as governor, and that has changed the entire Lagos State. I don't know his performance as senator anyway, but in Lagos State as executive governor of that state. We've had uh, uh, Atiku as vice president for eight years. I want to, somebody to tell me what he has done in, our, in Adamawa as a state so that we can even look at it. To compare, we are not talking of what he has done for the country that time, but his own state, Adamawa, as a state, what he has done. Because he won election to be governor of that state, first instance, before he was you know, elevated to be vice president. I want somebody or himself to even challenge Nigerians that when I was the vice president of this country, this is what I have done for the benefit of Adamawa as, 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 as a state. You know, that will be a fundamental thing to leverage on to say yes, we we'll compare. Because everybody knows what Tinubu has done in Lagos. And Tinubu has contributed to, you know, a lot in this country. And I can mention and mention and mention so many of them. But as vice president for eight years, especially, especially in his home state, Adamawa State, let him point at one thing he has done or development he has brought to his own country home. Unless that uh, investing, uh, that is a, uh, just like a private investment. 